We are troubled on every side. Why does Satan trouble you on every side? That is the first attack he lays on a believer, trouble. As a believer, your, your battery should be at least 70%. Which I speak about your satisfaction, your joy, your peace. 70% at least. Once the devil sees that you are 70% and above, he brings what is called trouble. We are troubled on every side. So the target of trouble is to move you from 70 and above to at least less than 50. The essence of trouble is to give you grief, distress, Feeling of pain in your heart. For every moment you feel that pain, your battery is draining fast. That's what the Bible says, cast your cares onto the Lord. Because every minute you are thinking and you are worrying, you are losing battery life. And what would the devil do to kill your battery? Trouble. If you look at your life, there's no trouble. Maybe you are living in heaven. Or you are not born again. If you are born again, Paul says we are troubled on every side. We are troubled on every side, yet we are not distressed. So distress is the grief we are talking about. He says we refuse to grieve. We refuse to be pained. That's the essence of the trouble. We are troubled to be distressed. The essence of trouble is for you to be distressed. But Paul fights back. We are troubled, but we are not distressed. So if you look at the word distress, you find the word stress. So what does stress do? It kills your battery life. It weakens you. And you find yourself falling below, below 50. And that's the problem. There are many powers you have in your life that cannot operate on low battery. For instance, let me tell you what I'm saying. You can't do video recording on 5% battery. You start the video camera, it goes up. You start the video, it tells you you can do WhatsApp. But you can't do video recording because the battery level you have can't sustain that. There's a battery level for prophesying. There's a battery level for praying. There's a battery level for everything you do with God. And the devil wants to weaken you so that you can, he can restrict you to only few things. Sit, sit, sit. We have not started. Let's go into this stuff. We are troubled on every side. Go back to my scripture. But how do you fight back? Refuse to be distressed. Refuse stress. Refuse pain. Refuse despair. Refuse to fear. Refuse to doubt. Refuse to worry. We are troubled on every side. Give me 2 Corinthians 7 verse 5. Look at scripture. For when we came to Macedonia, our flesh had no rest. We were troubled on every side. Look at that. We were troubled on every side. Without, we are fightings. Within, we are fierce. This is what many times pastors face that people don't understand. And even you face the same thing. Trouble on every side. From outside and from within. The devil knows how to attack you from outside. With what? Fightings. So here you are. There's a problem in the company. Your wife and your sister are fighting. Your father and your mother are fighting. There's just different issues. Fightings. Within uncertainty. That's fear. You're not sure about the future. You're not sure whether your marriage will happen. You're not sure whether your marriage will be sustained. You're not sure whether you can pay staff next month. Within fears, without fightings, he's pressing you from within and pressing you from without. There is only one reason to bring you into despair. Go back to my slide. The target for this kind of Christian is what? Trouble. So the devil looks and says, where is his gauge? You say, that guy is on 99. Send trouble in short. Give him 50 troubles. You get to the house, trouble. Office, trouble. Family, trouble. Your health, trouble. There's just trouble coming from everywhere. The devil knows your battery is high and he wants you down. 
but that devil is a liar I refuse to be stressed I refuse to worry I truly refuse to be pain I choose to cast my care upon the Lord in praise and in worship I want to praise him I want to dance to him I want to give him glory come on say yes somebody 